Edward Martell became Edward Martell Esquire recently. I, Edward Martell, do solemnly swear. Sworn into the Michigan Bar by Judge Bruce Morrow. It is hereby ordered that Edward Francis Martell be and is hereby admitted to practice as an attorney and counselor at law. But it wasn't Martell's first appearance in front of Judge Morrow. That was 16 years ago. What was on that lengthy rap sheet of yours? You know, there was um, anything from possession of cocaine to delivery of crack cocaine and just a plethora of other, other violations. Ed Martell grew up in the Detroit area, the son of a single mother. As a teenager, he lost his way. By 15, I was selling drugs. By 16, 17, I was selling harder drugs and dropped out of school and left the home. At 27 years old, he was caught in a drug sting. What was the potential sentence then? So I was facing a one to 20 year sentence for actually for two counts. Would life have been different? The judge that sentenced him, Judge Morrow. Judge Morrow, what kind of judge are you? I am a hippie, 1960s, hard working, believe in the best of people, loving on everybody I can type of judge. Judge Morrow's unconventional style, a source of controversy, as he currently stands accused of using graphic and inappropriate language in the court. But when it came to Martell, instead of sentencing him to prison time, the judge put him on probation and issued a challenge. He said, Mr. Martell, I challenge you, be a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. You don't have to be out here selling drugs. And I, and I believe you have greatness in you. And I accepted that challenge. You saw something in him. I saw a young man who was bright, intelligent, resilient, optimistic, and lost. <laughs> you know, it was, it was pretty simple. And, you know, I, I see my job as trying to provide opportunities for people that come in front of me to reintegrate them back into society and make them assist them in trying to be everything that they want to be. And what did Martell, a convicted felon, want to be? a lawyer, but the community college where he enrolled suggested something else, heating and cooling. They're trained to, if you have a criminal record, put, you know, suggest the heating and cooling. We went back and forth and eventually they agreed to let me take the prerequisites for the paralegal program. Martell graduated summa cum laude from the community college and ultimately got a scholarship to both the undergrad and law program at the University of Detroit Mercy. Throughout all of this, you're still staying in touch with someone. Who? Throughout this whole process, you know, Judge Morrow has been there. After I got off probation, I would just come in and hang out in his courtroom. And when I walk in, he'd just smile. We developed this father-son relationship. I never had a father growing up in the home, but if I imagined if, if I did it, you know, that this is what he would be like. So after Martell passed the Michigan bar exam and convinced the Character and Fitness Board his days as a criminal were long gone, it only made sense that the judge who saw his potential and not his past would swear him in. Edward Francis Martell, as a lawyer in the state. What did that moment mean to you? What did it feel like? It, it was full circle, just to reach the finish line and, you know, and then have him there to, to meet me and, and congratulate me and hug me and swear me in. You know, it's surreal. Judge, what was, what was that moment like, like for you? I was filled with, um, with joy for Ed, because he did the hard work. All I had to do was support him and love him as much as I could, give him advice when he needed it, and just always just tell him I'm there, and, and mean it, and be there. Wow, uh -huh. nice. <laughs> More than advice, the judge gave him a second chance. And to mark the occasion, by the way, Martell, he got a monogram briefcase from Perkins Law Firm. <laughs> and he's focusing on criminal law, not surprising. Uh, and he went on to say that he is living proof that love and opportunity equals success. Okay, that was one yeah. for the books, Gregor. That was a real good one. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.